everybody. This is Bear from the Okie Dokie Homestead. I'm filming here. There is our Christmas tree. Got that finished. We're getting ready for Christmas now. Huh, there goes Molly. She wants to get into the picture. So here I am. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing okay. I've been busy taking down Thanksgiving and putting up Christmas. So that's our tree there. Let me see if I could move it up here a little bit. Well, that's about all I could do. I couldn't seem to get it zoomed up. But that's our Christmas tree. So I'm going to stop and we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you the watermelon. Okay, we're filming again. Here we're outside. Gorgeous day. Look at that. Beautiful day. Nice and sunny. So, pretty quiet around here. Okay, let's get to the watermelon. Let me show you what I've learned on YouTube about the watermelon. Okay, there's the watermelon. As you can see, it looks great. Now, see that little curly Q? Not that one. That's just the vine. But this curly Q right here, the second one. That one. Whoops. That one right there. That curly Q right there, I read, well, I heard on YouTube that when that is brown, completely from tip all the way to here, it should be ready. And listen. So I think that's ready. So I'm going to give it a couple of more days because it's brown all the way. So I think I'm going to be picking that one. And I'll take a picture of it. When I get ready to cut it open, I'll bring you guys along and we could see how that goes. Now, here's another one where I'll show you. Whoops. Let me get the paper so I could show you. I'm going to stop you for a minute so I could grab that paper. Okay, here we go again. Now, see that curly Q? It's green. See how it's green? So that watermelon's not ready yet. That's what I've learned. But it's starting to turn. At the very tip is beginning to turn brown. But until it gets all the way there to the end of that, that's when it's going to be ready. So that's number two. There's watermelon number three right there. And then, of course, there's the other one on the other side. And all those curly cues on it is still green. So they're not ready to pick yet. And there's the other one. There it is. There you go. There's the other one. Okay. I'm going to stop you again. Okay. Now, for the flowers, right there. Okay. As far as I've learned, those are male flowers. And I'm really not going to be worrying about trying to pollinate now. I know I looked through this vine. I really couldn't find a female. I don't know if it's just because I'm dumb or maybe I'm blind, but all I could find was the male flowers. But anyway, as far as as long as we're here with this vine, I'm not going to even try. But at least next year when I try this, I'm, I am going to try then. So, alrighty, let me stop you again. Okay, I'm back inside now. And then the last thing I did for this weekend, besides put the tree up and everything, I also got my Christmas plates out. I do that every year too. I take out my regular dishes and put them away and I bring out my Christmas dishes. I used to do all four seasons, but I'm down to just everyday dishes and Christmas and that's it. And there's the other half because I have a 16 piece set. So there's eight there and there was eight on the other side. Alrighty. Well, that's about all I was doing. And last... There is the rug that I crocheted this year. It's um, Christmas colors, as you can see, red in the middle, then green, and then multicolor on the outside. I crocheted that this year for um, the house, so that way we'd have a Christmassy rug. Alrighty. Well, everybody have a wonderful day. Everybody have a blessed day. And I will catch up with you guys next week. Not much happening, but I'll give a little bit of something. Alrighty.
Talk at you guys later. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and like. Bye-bye.